Today's training was a uh, series of live voice events with a hospital transfer of uh, patients and picking up patients from a non-standard uh, HLG. This training is imperative to test our individual and collective tasks as a unit and ensure that in a vast array of scenarios, we're ready to respond to any medical emergency and provide the best level of patient care we can. We have some really professional soldiers, pilots, medics, and non ray crew members within our formation, and they performed exactly how you would expect them to under duress and in a typical training environment. Uh, night operations bring a whole series of uh, additional stressors on the uh, individual crew and on the medics as well. Uh, you have a limited field of view, uh, the visibility gets degraded, you don't really have a, uh, a good contour of the ground, so it's very stressful to fly at night and it's harder to find the point of injury or the uh, AXPs. We operate in the night on a regular basis as medevac units, so we must be prepared to handle those situations, which is why we train it. This scenario is designed to show that we can work with U.S. ground forces and transport them to foreign hospitals that fall within NATO. So for example, we took patients today from our ground units and moved them to a Bulgarian military hospital where they were received by Bulgarian military personnel. This shows that we're dedicated to our NATO allies and that we can work together on a regular basis.